Hey Sagittarius, it's the freaking weekend. All is well, Sagittarius. And remember that you are the opportunity. Yes, yes. So Sagittarius, we're looking at the weekend energies and <clears throat> see what's going on, what's going on around you, what you might be having to deal with. And at the end, I will uh, do a, a short little spiel on love what might be coming towards you in love this weekend and in the extended i will look at any situations going on here and uh what you can expect from each zodiac sign this weekend you know and that could be like anything it could be friends lovers what have you it's always good to have your heads up right sag <laughs> Welcome to Saged Muse. This is a channel for Sagittarius, but um, anyone is welcome if you feel like this might be for you. So let's get on with it. So the major energy here um, is trust the universe, Sag. Here you go. Look at these cards. They're so beautiful. And it just feels like you're just in this mode of going with the flow. Maybe even... Um, you know, not knowing how things are going, but just, you know, what, what will be, will be, right? And that's a good energy to be in because it does seem like a lot of things are going on here, but it's all about bringing everything together for you, I feel like. You know, um, so situations that might be happening around you. Now, this this could be you. Or this could be someone else, okay? So, because we're seeing a lot going on in the seventh house, which is about relationships. And then we see your card, the ninth house, which is Jupiter and Sagittarius. And it feels as if there is, at least there is an attempt to a choice being made, okay? And it has to do with some indecision. And I feel like it's trying to figure out whether or not to put the work into a relationship, especially because Jupiter's about expansion, right? Um, it could be something that you're learning is going to help you make this decision, something you discover. Uh, but it, it's just trying to figure out if you're going to invest in trying to grow this, you know, um, it could be someone else making the decision. I'll look at that for sure. You know, but I feel as if this might be you, honestly, trying to decide whether or not to just let things go or to invest in growth. But let's see what this indecision is about. Tell me about this, this indecision for Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. I feel like this is you, Sag. Yeah. I, I feel like you're trying to decide. And so, yeah. what is Sagittarius trying to decide here? Nine of Cups. Whether you even want this. <laughs> A lot of nines. A lot of nines. Three nines already. What is Sagittarius trying to decide? Eight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, it's like, there it is, what I just said. Whether or not to put effort into seeing if this will go anywhere. Yes. Because I feel like you're trying to get your life in alignment, right? So you are taking a look at particularly attachments um whether things are good for you whether this is uh, like because warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling because you're you're very focused on your soul purpose your life purpose and trying to bring all of the pieces together so this is like your whole life you're trying to align your life so do does this relationship is it worth investing for you? You know, is it worth you putting the effort and the work into, right? 
And that's all a part of it because you're trying to see where you're going. And so, you know, and it could be that this is part of the fragmented pieces because that's what I think about when I see this card. You know, you trying to think about what stays in your life, what goes, what to do, you know, because you want to be aligned with where you're supposed to be going. And so there is a lot of energy here about moving forward. Yes, there is, because you know why? Because you're back to being, <laughs> you're back to being the Queen of Swords here, Sag. Which is not a bad thing, because the Queen of Swords is like, you know, a lot of times Sagittarius has their head in the clouds. That's the way we are. We, we are the dreamers, just like Pisces. Only, you know, um, Pisces, Pisces tends to live in a lot of fantasy, and I, I don't think that's where, you know, we are. We just have difficulty with keeping our feet on the ground, <laughs> you know. And so you're trying to be logical, particularly because the devil's here, right? So you might be dealing with some shadow, um, but this is all about getting out of your own way and figuring out if if things are good for you or not good for you. You know, that is the devil. The devil is about our attachments, right? And, yeah, I feel like you're trying to figure everything out, to be honest. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles here, with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups, I feel, Nines are so, I can't even remember what Nines mean with angel numbers. Someone will tell me in the comments. I think it's Manifestation you know, in terms of angel numbers, you know, in terms of uh, tarot, it, it, it is it is very much about managing stuff because the nine goes to the 10. It, it's like managing things to um, bring certain things to completion. You know, it, really the nines, you are bringing things. It's just like a, a full circle kind of energy for me. Because in the tens, it's just completely over. So what has to go, what has to stay, right? With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you've been doing a lot of work towards moving forward and really thinking about, you know, things that you've been attached to, you know, and what's good for you, right? Eight of Pentacles is also like you may be really focusing on doing a lot of work on yourself, you know, on t in terms of your confidence on where you want to move to, you know, the Queen of Wands is a great energy to be in. And what's interesting is that the Queen of Wands often is impulsive, right? But not in this case, because it's it's mixed with logic for you. Yet you're you're seeing things very clearly which is going to to help you and and it's kind of like all of the energies are coming together for you because I'm seeing like the swords the wands the pentacles it, it's it's like I'm surprised that the magician isn't here somewhere because you are or even temperance because you are bringing it all together um like all of the elements right because you know, as in terms of the the Eight of Pentacles, this is about things you've resisted moving forward from. And it could be like you with the Page of Cups, right? This is, um, you're stepping into or you're moving towards a new way of being and opening your heart to new things. Um, and so you have to take a look at what are you still holding on to? right? What are you still holding on to? And I, I feel like, you know, whatever that is, if, if that's like relationships for you that you haven't let go of, attachments you haven't let go of, it could just be it being attached to a way of thinking. You know, it, this is whatever plays out for you. And, and I feel like all of your focus is forward. But, you know, in order to move forward, it, it does 
feel like there are certain details to work out and it, and really taking an honest look at yourself which is a really positive energy for me Sagittarius that's what we do I mean we thrive in those situations right so <laughs> the situation's coming in though let's talk about that five of wands and the moon because I mean for real with these people <laughs> This isn't even you, Sagittarius. Like, I mean, it could have been you, um, a, a struggle to see certain people clearly. I mean, it could have been. And I feel like, I feel like that is kind of true. Um, with the five of wands, it, the five of wands is resistance. The five of wands is struggle, right? And the moon is like, you know, what is hidden? And I feel like there is, there was need, there was you needing to make a decision based on what is good for you and what, it, like clarity. It just seems like there's certain people who really, honestly, Sag, um, you saw them one way, which Sag always sees the best in people. It, it's, one, it's one of our toxic traits, right? And I saw something recently about how, you know, when we love someone, uh, we'll see them in a certain image that sometimes isn't true, right? You have to believe what people show you. And I feel like you, certain people, you saw as the King of Pentacles and they didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve that because justice is here. This is about seeing the truth. Um, about Three of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you, on some level, you saw what people could be, right? Right? That isn't always what people show you and it isn't always what they're ready to be. And so it feels like you were resisting seeing how certain individuals actually are. You know, not who they could be, but who they actually are. And now you're being forced to make a decision as to whether or not to keep them in your life. Sagittarius, I said what I said. Because you can't keep supporting people based on a belief that is not being shown to you, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. Yeah, and I, I feel like that's, that's you realizing that there are certain things that have just kept you stuck. And it's hard. It's hard to move away, Sag. It's hard to move away, but this is about, you know, standing in your truth and what you personally value. And that's, you know, Four of Pentacles. See things how they really are. And I really feel like that one of the lessons you're learning is that these energies have had a huge hold on you. You know? I don't think that it's like controlling people. But it's like they had a hold on you. And, and now there's this immense clarity coming through. It's real interesting, Sag. Ten of Wands is on the bottom with the Ace of Cups. The Four of Swords. The King of Swords, the Chariot. I is this what? I mean, it could be that you expected new beginnings with certain individuals and it didn't happen, and now you're having to kind of really face that it didn't happen, and so you've got to turn your back on the past. Uh, I said what I said, but. Let's, let's look, let's go more. 
<laughs> Let's go more Sagittarius. Wow, it's just as deep. So tell me about choice and indecision for Sagittarius. Choice and indecision. And it's so funny because I posted yesterday, I, I believe, about standing in other people's karma. Precious and beautiful things. Okay. Mm. Because there's, there's another relationship... I feel like there's another relationship here that wants to um, to grow, to emerge, right? That has potential. That has the potential to be beautiful. But there's something else here and something else that, you know, you're needing to clear out in order for this to come in. Yeah, look at this. Ring of fire, enthusiastic and complete. Yeah, there is something that has to come into completion. So tell me about justice and the king of pentacles. Compete. It's interesting. Justice and the king of pentacles. like this is just too much of a challenge and it it really feels like this person tries to compete with you and there's a lot of confusion concerning this king of pentacles here and there could be a fight coming with them and i feel like because what I feel has happened here is that you waited for this person to turn into a king of pentacles, right? But they didn't. They're, they're a knight of pentacles. They're... Why they compete with you is beyond me. Tell me about the five of wands. It's a challenge. Five of Wands. I really think as if you've been resisting seeing this person clearly. Because what they actually do is compete with you. Right? <laughs> and they also don't show you the same level of support that you show them. And so you have figured out what the problem is. And what the problem is, is that you saw this person one way and you waited for them to step into that energy and they didn't. They just didn't. And you have something else that's trying to come through here um, that you've been undecided on. Wow. That is interesting. But where this comes from, and even if this, you know, if you're not in this position when it comes to relationships, it's really about totally aligning your life and totally being realistic about the people in your life. You know, there's a lot of figuring out going on here, to be honest with you. And this, I don't even feel like this is totally about romance. I feel like this may have been about friends as well. And it seems like, you know, there seem to be problems. 
I, I do feel like you have jealous people or people who compete with you in your field. And, you know, you kept waiting for that to mature in some way. And that that is not. And there's a lack of alignment that you've been reluctant to see. So. <laughs> So what is Sagittarius wanting to do this weekend? What is Sagittarius wanting to do this weekend? And it it actually is affecting relationships coming in, believe it or not. Oh, Eight of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Swords. You want to walk away from things where, you know, the the hits just keep coming. Yes. Yes. That's what you want to do. Five of Swords. Because you, you basically don't want, you don't want this energy anymore. Whether it's competition or fighting. Yeah, you're pulling yourself. This is what you want to do. You want to just... It's not ending, it's staying the same. And, you know, it's just about being done with it. So what is Sagittarius actually doing? Seven of Pentacles. Taking another look. Yeah, I, I feel like... You don't feel like there's much hope for this, but and this all has to do with starting something new because the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and release. I just feel like you're breaking free of holding on to something so that you can have open up to new new relationships, new experiences that, you know, because there is like, let's see what the King of Cups is about. There is someone here who wants to come in. And, and the interesting thing about it is that you may have been very honest with them. That you needed to move on from something. Yep. King of Swords. And the Hermit. Yeah, I think you may have been really honest to, that you were needing to move on from something or, or healing something. Trying to figure something out. And they understand that. They may even be helpful in this wow okay hmm. interesting message sagittarius because <laughs> i don't need i didn't even ask for love here it feels like somewhat this is about love so anything else for sagittarius that they need to know but I think at the end of the day, you're really trying to get into alignment. You're really trying to cut out what doesn't work for you anymore in terms of where you're going, what you're becoming. And so that may have you looking at all of your relationships. Yep, the chariot, that's your focus, like moving forward. New beginnings. New healing. Like, you know, no more pain, no more heartbreak. I'm done with it. I'm done with people who hurt me. I want to take control of my life, you know, and make a plan for the future. And, and really, too, like this time around, I want structure 
Oh, there's the magician. So yeah, there's a big balancing of, look, balance is on the bottom, balancing of energies here in terms of, you know, I'm going to cut out whatever is fragmented in my life. Sagittarius, I said what I said. I said what I said, Sagittarius. So I don't even think I need to add a love reading on this, but in the extended I will look at this choice that you're trying to make and I will also um, see what you can expect from each sign this weekend. So that's what I have for you. Toodles.